Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna talk about the Live Glam monthly subscription scam, and I'm also gonna reveal something about the founder of Live Glam, which to my knowledge has yet to be made public, so let's get into it. If you've been following me for a while, you'll recall that I've spoken about Live Glam and the founder, Darman, in previous videos as part of the Dress Your Face Exposed series. I'll link those videos in the description box below, which I suggest watching prior to this one so you're up to date on all the tea. Okay, let's start out with Live Glam. Life Glam was founded in 2015 by Darman and is described as a beauty startup that offers detailed makeup classes taught by top beauty influencers, monthly beauty boxes, and viral tutorials. So basically, in addition to other features, Life Glam has a content creator studio where they shoot makeup tutorials and other content. Since my previous video, it appears the Life Glam website has undergone a few changes. At that time, Life Glam was offering over 40 online makeup classes taught by 10 artists including some big names like Angel Marino, aka Mac Daddy, Nicole Concilio, Nikita Dragon, Brittany Bear, and I believe Patrick Starr. I'm going to include a clip from my previous video where I explain the facade of these online tutorials. Now, the cost of viewing these glorified YouTube tutorials is $99 per year, which is great if you want to pay for YouTube toots, that's your choice. Now, if Live Glam simply offered yearly online subscription-based makeup classes taught by different artists, and you decided that was something you were interested in paying for, as I said, that is entirely your choice, but that's not the way they market these online classes. What they do is lure young impressionable girls and boys who think that instead of attending an accredited makeup school, they can complete these online classes for a fraction of the cost and obtain the same credentials you'd receive from an accredited makeup school, which is 100% not the case. Let's talk about what's included in Live Glam's yearly subscription, which they indicate they will mail out after enrolling. First up, we have a certificate of enrollment to show off your skills. What fucking skills exactly are they referring to? It's a piece of paper saying you signed up and paid for their classes. That is it. Even if this was a legit certificate, I don't understand the skill you'd be showing off unless you count watching a tutorial as a skill. Skills are learned through hands-on experience and practice in my opinion, but to someone who's young and eager to start their career, I can see how this certificate would be misleading, especially since they use the words professional makeup classes on the certificate. Also included in the package are business cards you know, to help you network that clearly indicate the title of pro makeup artist in bold letters. Now yes, anyone can make business cards, but using the pro as in professional makeup artist is fraudulent in my opinion, and again, 100% misleading. You do not become a professional makeup artist by signing up for this shit. Next, we have composite cards to help you market yourself, which again, if you zoom in, uses the title makeup artist under the picture. And lastly, you get access to pro documents and resources, which I'm sure are all sourced from the internet and available to anyone. I'm going to stop the clip there, but I also went into detail on how they were offering access to pro discounts, which is typical of accredited makeup schools to offer, after you've earned the required credentials necessary to apply for the discount. You do not automatically receive discounts to all these makeup brands even with the proper credentials. The fact that they offered access to pro discounts in combination with their certificate, business cards, and comp cards misleads people into thinking they'd become professional makeup artists by signing up for these classes. This is a similar practice to what Dress Your Face does with her DYF certified bullshit, which is actually nothing more than a useless piece of paper. I've also covered this in a previous video, so I'm not going to go into detail about it, but I'll link that video in the description box below if you're interested in checking it out. The reason I bring up Dress Your Face is because she's a partner of Live Glam, as she explained in this interview in 2015. Um, as far as starting those Dress Your Face Live classes, um, it was actually something that we've been thinking about about my husband and I, um, actually it's my husband's idea it, years ago he was telling me that I should start doing online classes for people that are overseas, the ones that can't afford to come here and get trained by me here in LA or where I was living in San Francisco. And I just thought, you know, it's going to be hard to do that because over a webcam you can't really see all the details. And then once I moved here to LA, I met a team that was actually thinking of hosting online webinars for makeup artists. So we got together, we all had this huge meeting and I was like, let's take this to the next level. I would love to have an online makeup school where I get to teach worldwide to the masses at once. And they said, absolutely, this is what we've been planning too. They actually were already building the website from scratch. So I just kind of joined in a partnership with them and it took off from there. We planned everything very quickly because we were, we were both separately planning this 
like Kushal and I, my husband and I were planning it on one end and this team that I had never even met were already planning it for so long. So by the time we meshed, we were already ready and we were just kind of good to go. So to recap, Tamana Roshan, aka Dress Your Face, is partners with Darman in Live Glam, meaning that she has a stake in the company. Live Glam is where she films her online makeup tutorials for her own Dress Your Face Live monthly subscription service. Now, I don't want to be super repetitive in this video because I've covered this at length in my previous video, but Darman is a convicted felon with a lengthy history of shady business practices, which is likely why he teamed up with Dress Your Face to create Live Glam, because, you know, birds of a feather baby. Anyway, as I said earlier, since my previous video, the Live Glam site has changed in that it appears they no longer offer the yearly subscription-based makeup classes, where they include the certificate, business cards, and so on. Now it looks as though they're focusing on their monthly subscription boxes, but if you thought hosting online makeup tutorials and passing them off as accredited courses towards becoming a professional makeup artist was bad, wait until you hear what they're allegedly up to now. So Live Glam offers three monthly subscription boxes, Morphe Me, Kiss Me, and Polish Me. Morphe Me offers 3 to 8 Morphe brushes for $19.99 per month because the world needs more Morphe. Kiss Me offers 3 liquid lipsticks for $19.99 per month and Polish Me offers 3 nail polish shades for $19.99 per month. In addition to Morphe Me, Kiss Me, and Polish Me, they should also offer Fuck Me as literally hundreds if not thousands of Live Glam subscribers have become victims of credit card fraud shortly after signing up for their chosen subscription or shortly after canceling. I've actually been hearing about this for quite some time, but the number of people affected seems to be at an all-time high right now. I received a DM about an online group, which I'm not going to name because it's associated with another subscription-based service that has nothing to do with Live Glam, and I don't want people confusing the two, but I was contacted by one of the members asking whether I'd heard of fraudulent charges associated with Live Glam because there were a bunch of members in this group who were experiencing fraudulent credit card charges, and the only thing they all had in common was that they were all Live Glam subscribers. I told the person that yes, this is something I've heard of in the past and to please pass on my information to any of the group members affected and the floodgates opened. I was absolutely shook, you guys. I asked a bunch of the people who contacted me if I could share their story in my video and they were all kind enough to allow me to do so. It was important for me to show you real examples with real names and receipts attached so you guys know that this is not just me speculating. First up is Marissa. I'm actually going to censor their handles just because I worry since it's allegedly a fraud case, but she says she subscribed to Live Glam two months ago, got a package last month, and then on Friday got a notification from her bank saying that her card was charged twice for $200 through Venmo, and she had no idea where the charges were coming from as she hadn't heard of others experiencing the same issues. She also included screenshots of her statement showing the charges. Next, we have Nikki who said that she subscribed in October or November. The first month was fine, but then on December 1st, she was notified by her bank that she had two fraudulent charges on her account. One from an AC company that she had never heard of at 1.41 a.m. and the second from Walmart at 2 a.m. She went on to explain to me that she's been subscribed to several other monthly subscriptions without any issue but as soon as she gave Live Glam a chance, her credit card was compromised. Next we have Scott who actually responded to a tweet I put out asking for people to DM me if they'd been affected by fraudulent charges after signing up for Live Glam. He said he signed up in August as you can see in the email receipts he provided and in the beginning of October he noticed that there was a $208 charge to Macy's which was actually on hold and hadn't gone through yet. He contacted Macy's fraud department, they took care of it and he cancelled all his cards and subscriptions. If you notice the timing in a lot of these cases it seems to be around the two month mark after subscribing when people start noticing the fraudulent charges. Next we have Rachel. In her case her debit card was compromised two days after she cancelled her subscription. Funnily enough, the reason she cancelled was because she had been hearing about other people's cards being compromised. Her card was charged $559 at FitLife TV and she was kind enough to provide receipts for same. When she initially signed up for Live Glam, she was put on a wait list. She was wait list cleared on October 16th and her first package was sent out on October 27th, as you can see in this screenshot of her Live Glam dashboard. She cancelled her subscription on November 29th and on December 1st her card was compromised. 
Next up is MJ. Now, she actually tweeted at me asking if I had heard of any fraudulent charges associated with another monthly subscription service as she was experiencing fraudulent charges and I responded that I hadn't, but I asked if she was a member of Live Glam and she responded that she actually was. She signed up for Morphe Me on October 27th. On November 30th, she was notified by her bank that there was a fraudulent charge of $800 on erics.com. MJ actually sent me a screenshot of the comments left under a Live Glam ad on Facebook and as you can see a few others also experienced fraudulent charges on their cards. Live Glam did respond to these claims with a very generic response saying that keeping their customers information safe is their top priority and that they were looking into the issue. Next is Jessica who signed up two months ago and on November 30th had an $800 charge for AT&T which is a company that she doesn't even use. Next we have Kate who says that she signed up on October 21st and her first set of brushes was sent to her on October 27th. On December 1st, she got a notification that there was a $230 charge made to AT&T. Just like Jessica, Kate also isn't with AT&T. She advised that she called her bank right away and as the bank was closing her account, another $173 payment to AT&T was charged. This next woman, and I apologize I didn't catch her name, but she told me that she signed up in August and in October, she was charged two back-to-back -back $800 charges also for AT&T. Now, this is the third person person that we know of at least to have fraudulent AT&T charges on their card and interestingly in the same denomination as Jessica being $800. Anyway she went on to tell me that at the time of the charge she didn't realize that it could be Live Glam placing the fraudulent charges on her card so when she got her replacement card she signed back up. After hearing about other people's fraudulent charges associated with Live Glam she cancelled her subscription on November 30th and on December 3rd she had another fraudulent charge on her brand new card. The next case is interesting actually. So this person was fraudulently charged $9,143.17 and they wrote to Live Glam and said, my credit card information has been stolen because of your website. I was fraudulently charged $9,143.17. This happened to multiple people because of your site. What are you doing to protect us? I want to know details to your plan of action or I want my account cancelled immediately. So then Joseph from Live Glam responds with this lengthy message and basically says that Live Glam doesn't store their customers credit card information on their site and that payment information is stored with a merchant processor that they do not have access to. He then advises her to contact her bank. She responds to Joseph and says my bank has been contacted. In actuality they contacted me. I know you have got a lot of emails with customers having this same issue. They're all talking about it in the Facebook groups. My bank said that it has come from y'all also. I'll be report back to the others who have had the same thing happen and letting them know that you are passing the blame onto a third party rather than accepting responsibility for this. Joseph responds again advising that they are investigating the issue and requesting that she provide more information. She responds to Joseph's questions saying, 1. I signed up in late September, early October. The first brushes I got were the October breast cancer ones. 2. No, I did not update any of my info. 3. There was a pre-authorized charge from Live Glam for the amount of 9 cents. My bank said that thieves do this to see if the card is good and it allows them to charge the card multiple times. The charges were all from China. One was for over $4,000. And there was a bunch in between $160 and $190. I'm not sure of the vendors because it was my bank who caught it before I did. It's Sunday so they're not open and I can find out the vendors tomorrow if you need them. Now this is as recent as December 2nd so I'm not sure if there's been any update yet but do you see how they play people for fools? Acting as though this isn't a huge issue with their company. Literally thousands of people are complaining about the same issue and their generic response to people is that they don't keep credit card information on their site, which may be true, but in my opinion, my conspiracy, allegedly, they are in cahoots with the third party they use to quote unquote store the information. They've received so many complaints that they've even posted this is your credit card safe with live glam post to their blog, which they say will be updated as more information becomes available. So far there are no updates, but I will continue to check back. In my opinion, this is nothing more than damage control to appease their worried customers because this issue has been going on for well over a year now. 
now. I think more and more people are putting two and two together and that's why there are so many people coming forward. Something else I find interesting is that if you go to their Instagram page and look through their posts, there isn't one comment about these alleged fraud charges. In fact, with their 1.7 million followers, as you can see here, this post has almost 70,000 views and only 22 comments. This one has over 8,000 views and 7 comments. This one has 22,000 views and only 2 comments. So their Instagram comments are either very heavily moderated or something is up with their engagement, which could mean that they bought followers, which is something Dar and his girlfriend, Laura G143, have allegedly done in the past. I've also covered this in a previous video, so I wouldn't be surprised if this was the case on his business Instagram page. In fact, I'd be shook if it wasn't the case with his history. One question that I've received over and over since beginning this investigation is, do you think Morphe knows of all these fraudulent charges since they do have a monthly Morphe Me subscription? And I actually don't know. But let me remind you of this video I made six months ago. Here's a screenshot of a clip from that video. In this picture, you can see Darman, Linda from Morphe, Dress Your Face, Jaclyn Hill, and Nikita Dragon. I said in that video, which I'll link below, that it was ironic that all these people were together celebrating Dar's birthday. And it turns out, it actually wasn't ironic at all because are you ready for this tea, y'all? I don't believe this has ever been made public and they've done a really good job covering it up all these years, but when Morphe first started out, they needed an investor and guess who the investor allegedly was? None other than Darman, which is the reason they've offered their Morphe Me monthly subscription service from the very beginning. My understanding is that he was a silent partner and kept secret due to his shady past because a history of fraud and the fact that he's a convicted felon isn't exactly good for business. These days, I'm not sure if he's still tied to the company or he was bought out at some point because as we know, Morphe now has new investors, but who knows how long we've been putting money in this man's pocket. Allegedly, of course. If you don't believe me or have any questions or doubts, Google him. If you don't believe me about the thousands of fraud charges linked to Live Glam, I always suggest doing your own research and please be careful, guys. Live Glam does have an affiliate program and I've seen influencers promoting them lately, such as Patrick Starr, Nikita Dragon, and Kristen Leanne. I'm not saying that they know about what's going on with Live Glam. They could be totally in the dark about it, but this is why you should always research the company you promote before sharing it with your followers. Anyway, you guys, that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you learned something. Of course, as usual, I want to hear from you guys. Are you guys members of Live Glam and have you had a similar experience? Let me know. Also, I'm curious to know as I don't have a background in fraud, but if any of you know how these credit card scams work, please let me know. Is the credit card information sold and that's how they profit? Leave your comment below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat at Here for the T2 and I'll talk to you guys again soon in my next video. Bye!